For most, April 9th will come and go without much notice. It's not Canada Day, it's not Remembrance Day. However, on this day in 1917, the Canadian Corps, pitted against six divisions of the German 6th Army, commenced the battle for Vimy Ridge. Three days later, on April 12th, the final objective was seized and the remaining German soldiers retreated. This was a significant Allied victory during World War I. The Great War had been raging furiously for two and a half years. Victory at Vimy Ridge meant the fierce German defensive line had finally been broken. The British didn't do it. The French didn't do it. The Canadians did it. And while the war would rage on for another year, Vimy Ridge became a physical symbol of courage and resolve, marking it as a key turning point in the war. So highly regarded was the distinctively Canadian victory that many suggest it marked the birth of a nation. Here are some things you might not know about Vimy Ridge. Vimy Ridge marked the first time all four Canadian divisions fought together under one banner, a Canadian banner. These were Canadian soldiers led by Canadian commanders. On the first day, these brave soldiers assaulted up a hill at an uncanny clip of 100 yards every three minutes. This would later become known as the Vimy Glide. It's worth noting that while women were not permitted to enlist as soldiers, they could still volunteer to be nurses with the Canadian Army Medical Corps. These brave women, nicknamed the Bluebirds on account of their blue uniforms, played a pivotal role in Canadian World War I victories. The Canadian National Vimy Memorial, which is situated on the same ground as the battle it commemorates, serves to honor the 60,000 Canadians that made the ultimate sacrifice during the Great War. And you don't have to travel to France to see it. Next time you find yourself holding a $20 bill, take a moment and reflect on what this image represents. The impact of the Canadian victory at Vimy Ridge reverberated across Western Europe and North America. Today is April 9th. It's not Canada Day, and it's not Remembrance Day. Nevertheless, as I reflect on the sacrifice made by those brave men and women, and their ability to do something that no other nation could, I can't help but be filled with a sense of Canadian pride.